want to talk about the trades. Devontae Adams traded for third round conditional pick to the New York Jets, reunited with his his best buddy, and Amari Cooper traded to the Bills. Which of these teams with this trade do you feel that the needle was moved the most to accomplish the goal of winning a Super Bowl? Um, I mean, I think you, I guess you could see it from both angles, although I would lean towards the Jets. I mean, you bring in a guy who, Devontae Adams, he's a one. You've got two ones on offense now, along with Lazard, who, I mean, by the numbers, has been one of the better receivers in the league right now. So now you got three. Headed monster for the the Jets receiving wise, they do need some help on defense, but I think they'll they'll get that tightened up. Um, the main thing is now you've got a receiver who has chemistry already built in with Rodgers. I mean they they were in Green Bay for what seven eight years, and um, Rodgers helped him become the receiver that we know today. So bringing him in, I mean that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to do this trade now i really wish we would have been able to go three and three and be uh tied for first place in the division when we did this but um we can make we we can make a run here and i mean if we can get get to four and four by halloween when we play the texans i mean the sky's the limit the amari cooper trade is cool but we could be seeing a decline in amari cooper he hasn't looked as explosive he's been a little he's leading the league in drops i think i mean i think receiver is a position you're supposed to catch the ball greg am i right i mean that's what you do on thanksgiving you catching the ball you're not dropping it i mean i hope i hope not but um yeah mark cooper it's a cool move but the way this offense in buffalo is being ran they're leaning more towards the run i mean you saw it on sunday they or Monday night, they were killing us on the, with the run. And I think that, you know, if it's 60-40, that might be 55-45 now, but I still think it's going to lean towards the the run. To his point, I'll let you go, Greg, to his point, for those that's watching and listening, he's alluding to ESPN has Amari Cooper rated as the worst wide receiver so far this season. Analytically speaking, he's in the bottom five of players when it comes to separation. So it may seem as if he is on a decline. I did listen to a podcast today that somebody that is a Raiders insider, and he mentioned when Amari Cooper was with the Raiders and they weren't playing well, Amari Cooper is known to not give as much effort. So that's what we could be seeing because when you got a quarter like Deshaun Cosby, I don't know how much effort I'm giving either. As a receiver, why would you run full speed? And I look, I don't, I don't give given half effort. But the guy's been in the NFL for a long time. He's a veteran. You running full speed when you know Deshaun's going to throw you a bounce pass. You know, nine times out of ten, it, it doesn't work. It's not. That's not the way it's going to happen. So clearly, it's he's rated that low, and he clearly Miles is saying that he's he's declining, which he's just saying that to fit his narrative because, you know, it has to be about the Jets and all that, so I get that. But the reality of it is, is if you look at these two teams, the Bills were closer before both trades were made. The Bills were closer to a Super Bowl and being a Super Bowl contender than the Jets were, way closer in my opinion. And then on top of that, you add uh, Amari Cooper, which is a real weakness for that football team. That was a real position of need. The reason why they would run the football so much and they almost one dimensional with the way they run it is because they don't have receivers that they can trust. Keon Coleman runs a, a 7.5 uh, uh, 50 yard dash. So you can't throw the ball to that guy. He's not winning off the line of scrimmage. He's getting jammed. It has not gone well for the rookie. OK, he's funny and all that. I know they're posting him on social media, but clearly, clearly his performance is funny, too. And that's the real problem they're having over there. So. That now you have a guy, a trusted wide receiver who you know can get open. He is a route connoisseur. That's what he does. He, he's going he's to be open. He's going to be available to Josh Allen. He's going to be a safety valve for Josh Allen. He's going to fit right in like a glove in that offense. And they can run the ball. So now they have play action variability. Now they can go to their play action game and throw the ball down the field. They're going to be hard to beat. 
that team can win a Super Bowl. That's a real Super Bowl contender. Their defense is very good. Taylor Rapp is a hell of a player over there. Their D-line played good football. Epineza got get to the court, getting to the quarterback. Rousseau is coming on strong. That is a very, very good football team that has a chance to win a Super Bowl legitimately. All the Jets did was continue to do the same thing they've done that put them in this mess, which is appease Aaron Rodgers. They did nothing to add to the Super Bowl hopes by adding Devontae Adams. He's, he's literally a fine piece of China. That's all he is. He, he, they, didn't, they didn't fix the bedrock of the football team. They didn't fix the foundation of the football team. You know what the Jets' problem is? They get gashed in the run game. They have no run integrity. They don't stop the run. They don't stop the run. I, 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 football is such an easy sport. Protect the quarterback. Rush the quarterback. Stop the run. And, it, and, and it, icing on top, if you can run a football, even better. But protect the quarterback, right? The Jets don't protect the quarterback particularly well. They don't stop the run, right? So what are we talking about? You know what I mean? The receiver play is going to be better. I'll tell you that. You're going to see an immediate, immediate result. They're going to beat the bad teams in the NFL. But when it comes down to playing the Chiefs, the, the, the 49ers, when they get right, the, uh, the, the Bills, right? Uh, who else? What are the contenders? All these contenders in the league? They're going to lose those games because you can't stop the run. You can't stop the run. So how do you win those football games if you can't stop the run? It's that, it's, to me, it's that simple. To me, it's that simple. So I don't know if it's Hassan Reddick being out. That's the problem. And they it messed up their depth of the rotation. Maybe that's what it is. But the point is, we are where we are. And they don't stop the run. So, again, the Bills were closer in the first place, in my opinion. I think the Bills have really vaulted themselves into, into – being right up there with the Chiefs, in my opinion, is a team that could really knock them out and win a Super Bowl. I really do believe that. I think they're going to be that good uh, because they run the ball and they're going to have that play action working. And Amari's a very, very good player. I know from firsthand accounts how good that guy is. Him sharing a division with the Giants for so long, and he ain't washed. Deshaun sucks. He is the worst quarterback in football. The worst. He's worse than Daniel Jones. He's the worst. Bar none. There's no, there's no Aiden O'Connell. All them do bet. He's ass. We don't. He's ass. So there is no discussion. So I don't blame him. Uh, what's his name? Amari uh, Cooper for his performance over there. Uh, and he's out of Cleveland. Please, he'll be all right. He'll be just fine.